Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the family. But today I'm doing something a little bit different to my usual like unboxing, hits and misses clothing hauls. I'm actually gonna be showing you all the pieces I've styled over the past week on my holiday. So I've been in Marbella and I have to say, I've never received so many messages from you beauties asking where my outfits are from, can I link certain pieces? So that's exactly what I'm doing. I've got so many gorgeous just pieces to show you from like misguided ASOS pretty little thing all high street apart from the occasional Prada bag <laughs> I'll link all of the outfits below of course but let's kick it off with the airport outfits so what I usually wear to the airport is a pair of comfy joggers and a t-shirt I have to be comfy but still look cute do you know what I mean these joggers are actually from misguided and so is this gorgeous kind of butterfly t-shirt that I've tucked in and rolled up the sleeves just to give it a little bit more of a style you can obviously untuck it if you fancy I have to say this t-shirt is actually from the plus size range and it's size 16 but it comes up just a little bit oversized on me I am five months well nearly six months pregnant too by the way so if you're wondering why I've got such a tummy these days it's because there's a baby in there but I'm sure you guys already know that if you've been following our journey on YouTube and Instagram and all that jazz. So I've been liking these oversized t-shirts tucked in to joggers lately. Oh, these are so cozy, these joggers. They feel so luxurious and they come in so many different colours too. So they're the 90s style joggers from Misguided with like the cuffed ankles. They've got such a gorgeous fleecing inside and they just feel really high end and they're affordable so that's always a bonus. And I would style this outfit or if I was wearing white joggers I might pop on this little it's like a fleece shirt jacket so it's really really cozy and again this goes with so many outfits throughout this haul you will see I feel like this would go better with the white joggers and then some trainers so the trainers I wore all week on my travels were both adidas actually I have some falcons adidas falcons which I'm obsessed with and some Oswegos. Oswegos? <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but they're both Adidas. They look a bit like Yeezys actually. But yeah, to the airport, I usually use one of my beach bags as my hand luggage on my suitcase. And we go for luxurious comfort <laughs> that is affordable. Now talking about comfort, but still looking chic, I have this play suit. Oh, I just absolutely love this. So this is Nike. I bought it from ASOS and I actually styled this with the misguided fleece shirt and I just found it so like complimentary especially um, seeing as I'm pregnant I've got lumps and bumps in all sorts of places right now and I just found it really flattering and comfortable and easy to wear I also bought it in black but you can see how I styled it on holiday so I basically wore it with some trainers and again, my um, Prada bag, and then this hat, which I absolutely love. This hat is from Palm Shelt. I actually wear size small. It's just such a staple piece. You can wear it with so many different outfits from dresses to trackies to casual and formal. <laughs> the quality is just beautiful. And that kind of outfit I'd wear if I'm going for lunch at the beach or if I'm going shopping in London and it's a hot day. It's definitely an outfit you can style in many ways and they do do a few other colours which I've also bought. They do like a red and a yellow, pink and green. <laughs> no jokes, they just do red, yellow in these two. <laughs> and I bought them all because they're only £35. I'm gonna list all the outfits in the order that I talk about them below by the way just in case you're like, oh where is everything gonna be? But yeah, that was a solid little outfit, but now let's move on to swimwear. So I wore this to the beach club on the first day. And by the way, if you're interested in seeing what our holiday experience was like post lockdown, it's episode seven of like my weekly vlogs, pregnancy journey, and I document everything that we kind of got up to whilst traveling and what it was really like because of the new measures and guidelines. And I have to say, the beach club that I went to on the first day was a real like eye opener because you're wearing masks from like bed to bed, but then everyone's in the swimming pool together. I didn't go in the swimming pool, I just stayed at my bed. I wore my mask to and from the toilet. I wore my mask when anyone was coming over to talk to me, um, other than when I was with my little bubble of friends um, and my husband, Buzzy. I pretty much wore masks all the time, which is the law now. And most people were, but this beach club day was a bit confusing to me. I think it's just shocking because 
I just didn't expect that so soon. But anyway, back to the swimwear. I wore this bikini, which is gorgeous. It's like a green kind of candy stripe bikini and I wore it with an oversized shirt. And I just feel like every summer wardrobe needs an oversized shirt to chuck on over a little dress or a bikini. And I literally wore just this oversized shirt as a dress over the bikini with some little flip flops and my beach bag. And if anything is sold out, by the way, I will be linking alternatives that are really similar. And if anything comes in alternative colors, I might list that as well. This again is from Misguided, but if they don't have the exact one, because I was looking for that before, I started filming and I couldn't find it, but I found loads similar, pretty much all the same color, just different buttons. Another day I wore this to the beach club, which is a gorgeous like leopard print bikini. This is from ASOS Swim. And I wore this with like a white oversized shirt. I didn't actually end up wearing every single piece or filming on holiday every single piece. So if we have any leftovers that I haven't captured, I'll be capturing them here for you. And that goes for this swimsuit actually that I didn't manage to wear, but you guys have to grab it because it's so beautiful. Just a classic white one shoulder swimsuit. It's very flattering. Ow. Oh, this bikini. I just wore this with a white oversized shirt as well actually in the day but this is gorgeous from my friend's clothing brand SLA a cute little tie-dye bikini itty bitty bikini <laughs> I loved wearing that and I felt really comfortable in it even though it was very like tiny I preferred that because sometimes swimwear with like a larger surface area makes you look a little bit more lumpy and bumpy rather than just having your skin out does that make sense I don't know I also didn't manage to wear this swimsuit but I love this a little red number you can't really go wrong with a few classic swimsuits like this. I would just wear this with denim shorts um, and some sandals as well to turn up to the pool in. Oh, this black bikini is beautiful. How gorgeous is that? This looks really premium. It looks a bit like a Hunza G one. It's from Misguided. That red one was from Misguided as well. And so was the white one. Sorry, I'm forgetting where to tell you that they're from, but of course, Everything's linked below. So this little black bikini is gorgeous. Didn't get to wear it, but I will be sure to wear it if I can go away on another holiday this year. Oh, if the sun comes back out in the UK, it was pretty sunny today, but you know, there's my Bayer heat and then there's the UK heat. And then to the beach club, one of the days, which is more of a chilled vibe, I wore this little white bikini and I wore this with some shorts, just some denim shorts, which are my favorite ones ever. I've like got four pairs of them because I'm so scared that I'm gonna lose them. So the bikini on its own is absolutely beautiful, but these shorts, oh my goodness. As soon as I knew that I was getting bigger, I bought them in a size, these are size 12, but I'm usually a size 10 or eight, and they're just so flattering. Guys, everyone needs a pair of these shorts, I promise you, you will not regret it. And I wore these with some little sandals and my um, Prada bag with, oh, this gorgeous cardigan. I got so many messages about this cardigan. It's so beautiful. It's from In The Style um, and it's part of the Lorna Lux range. So I bought this in a size 14, so it's really oversized. The shorts are misguided and the bikini is misguided, but this is In The Style. And I absolutely loved that outfit. I got so many compliments that day which is always a good thing. Those blue denim shorts actually come in white as well which I'm obsessed with. I literally, they do them in so many colors. Please just get all colors because you will not regret it. You know, like when, if you're looking for that perfect pair of denim shorts, these are them. They look really big because I have sized up for my belly, but they actually are really cute and not too like up the bum and don't like expose too much of, well, they're just nice and flattering. They cover the area, but like sculpt it at the same time. I hate denim shorts that flatten your bum. And these don't, they make it pop. And one of the days I actually wore these shorts was with this swimsuit. We went to the beach and it was so beautiful. Oh, went to this place called Tarifa and it's just like a total surfer beach. And I wore this swimsuit, which is beautiful. Again, it's very like Hunza G luxurious, but it's misguided. And I wore that with those white shorts and some little sandals and this hat, which is from Lack of Colour, who I've discovered recently. Again, I'm a size small in this. I don't know whether that means anything to you guys because it's really hard to compare head sizes, but I've got a small head, so. 
And whilst we're on the denim short vibes, I'm going to show you a mixture of the tops that I wore or took with me to style with the shorts. And actually, a lot of these I would style with the joggers as well, especially the white joggers. You know those trusty little like Zara racer bodysuits? Well, misguided do them at a fraction of the price and they're not sold out. Well, they weren't last time I checked, whereas the Zara ones are always sold out. This one comes in like a pack of two. So I love wearing this one. I actually wore this to the airport on the way there with some joggers. This is really beautiful with the white denim shorts. It's like a little crochet sage knit body. A lot of what I have is very like neutral nudes, olive kind of tones, very much holiday vibes. Those are from Misguided. In fact, most of the stuff is just a few random pieces from a few different other shops and then this ribbed bodysuit is gorgeous as well. There's just a whole mixture of um, different bodysuits that I like to wear with the shorts or with the white trackies. You cannot go wrong with like just little basics really. Oh by the way this beige knit actually comes in mint too. I didn't get to wear that but I thought I'd just let you know because how gorgeous is that? <gasps> can't wait to wear that shade. This little top is really cute for the evening actually. So just like a summery little evening or with a pair of jeans if you're going shopping or meeting someone for lunch. But yeah, with the little white shorts that looked really nice on. It does have a matching co-ord, I think shorts or skirt. They were sold out sadly on Misguided. So <laughs> I'll have to wait until that's back in stock. And then just a couple of basic t-shirts to go with my shorts or my joggers. I just love, like, even if I'm on holiday, going down for breakfast wearing a pair of crisp white joggers with a little, like, cropped tee. Such a fresh feel and look. Talking about going down for breakfast, I have a few simple pieces that I just throw on to literally get me down to the pool or go down to breakfast. Um, and one of them, of course, is a tie-dye t-shirt. So this is from the Playboy range, um, part of Misguided. You could wear this with, like, a pair of baggy jeans and it would look sick this one as well a little bit of tie dye again just really nice luxurious feel but summery colors so i just wore that you can wear this with shorts as well if you fancy and then we have this little cord which is really cute there are the shorts so it's a ribbed kind of oversized t-shirt that comes with a pair of cycling shorts. To be honest, I'm probably gonna end up wearing that more in the UK because I love a pair of cycling shorts going on my walks and everything. Oh, and this t-shirt. This has to be one of my favorite t-shirts I've ever bought from Misguided because it looks like um, Givenchy. It's got some like Dobermans on the front of it and it says Sinner and it's just, it's dope. I might actually wear that now for the second half of this haul. If you're a black kind of girl, this with a pair of black shorts and black trainers is a vibe. Okay, now for nights out. What did I wear on the nights out? Oh my gosh, one of the nights we went to this beautiful restaurant. It was like being at a wedding actually, and it was so gorgeous. There was like this fountain outside, and I wore this dress from Misguided. It's so flattering and like really comfortable. It's like a soft bouncy material. And I wore this with a pair of little mules. And honestly, oh, this was one of my favorite outfits. I just felt so good in it. And it was very like breathable. I'd wear this with like trainers as well. So this with a pair of like falcons throughout the day would be pretty sick as well to go for brunch or something. But I absolutely adored that and got a lot of compliments on that as well, so. It's always a treat. And then another night I wore this gorgeous blazer dress. We went to this like place called Serafina and it was just a really beautiful like fairy light restaurant. It was all lit beautifully. I had, what did I eat? I can't even remember now. But this blazer dress is actually from ASOS. So this is one of the only pieces I got from ASOS actually. It's part of their bridal collection, weirdly. It's like an oversized blazer dress. It's not too expensive but it's definitely on the higher end but it's because it's just tailored really nicely it's so thick it's not thin it's gonna last you for a long time and it's really flattering i got it in a size 10 so it is oversized because i'd say well i'm normally an 8 to 10 
but right now I'm like a 10 to 12. And a couple of dresses I didn't manage to wear from Misguided was this little green cami, which you guys loved on my stories when I was showing you what I kind of got a few pieces. So yeah, this is definitely something I'm gonna be wearing well, soon, I'm, I might even wear this with trainers or something, like trainers and a white blazer. To be fair, this would look really cool over the top of it, like the blazer undone with this little cami slip um, and with some little white fluffy shoes or something or little just nude perspex shoes. And the same goes for this dress, because wow, I just didn't get a chance to wear it. So I'll show you what it looks like here, of course, but I need a place to wear this, guys. Now in the UK, like, it's almost that little bit too fancy for, for dinner. Well, it's not necessarily, it depends where you're going. But I need like a little engagement party or a wedding to wear this to. If I had a wedding coming up, I would be wearing this. But you know, Corona is ruining everything. And last but not least, I think, we have this little number, which is a gorgeous, silky, oversized shirt dress. You can wear it as a dress, you can wear it with denim. Um, I actually wore this just with some little shorts on holiday, heading down to the beach. But I'm gonna save this and wear it with some jeans for a brunch that I have coming up soon. And again, that is misguided. Oh, I thought that was everything, but I've got two dresses. <laughs> you can tell that I'm going for an olive theme, can't you? I'm trying to like make my Instagram look aesthetically pleasing lately. This one is from misguided. Not really a bit of me, I have to say, but um, with a pair of trainers, I think this would look really cute on holiday. I probably won't wear it now, I'm back in the UK. But if you're a floral kind of floaty dress kind of girl, then I thought I'd show you that. And then this, I actually wore this for um, one of my baby announcements to my friends for the day. And it's so flattering because it's like that shirred material. This is from Topshop, but I bought it on ASOS. So this is gonna be like one of those staple pieces I keep in my wardrobe and just wear because it's gonna stretch with my body throughout this pregnancy. Um, and yeah, the last time I checked, there was a few sizes left. So if you do love this, then you've got to be quick on this one. Because literally last time I checked, there was a few left. Um, but I've got mine in a size 10. I think if you went smaller or bigger, it wouldn't matter too much. Because it's so, so stretchy. Like, like, look at the stretch on that. To be honest, it's been a while since I've actually bought loads of stuff from Misguided. And I am so impressed. Like... I'm excited to be wearing some of these pieces over and over. I got stuck in this little like pretty little thing black hole for the past like six months to a year and now I've broadened my horizons. I've discovered so many other cool pieces and that's actually something that I have vowed to do is just try random boutiques, try little Instagram shops out and not just stick to ASOS and pretty little thing, do you know what I mean? I know Misguided isn't like, whoa, out there. <laughs> I'm switching things up a little bit guys and we have a few key pieces from other places too I'll try and find some little beach bags for you as well to link below just so you get an overall like styling experience if that makes sense but I hope you've enjoyed this just as much as I've enjoyed kind of sharing this with you and wearing all the pieces let me know if you grab anything if I find any discount codes, by the way, I will link them below too. And if you find any discount codes, then help your girls out. Comment down below. Um, I'll be replying to your comments anyway, but I'm always on Twitter like searching for discount codes. So yeah, I find it really beautiful and generous when people are like, you can have mine or found one, wanna share it with everyone. Like that is what I'm here for. We can be friends. <laughs> But yeah, don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram. See all the pics that I've styled some of these clothes in. And feel free to subscribe to watch my weekly videos and vlogs. I'll be eternally grateful and I'll see you on the next one, my beauts. Love you lots. Bye.